Hello, my name is Lex Hoggis. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Hi, my name's Jared. I'm currently smoking a <laughs> Kyle. I'm 21 years old. Oh my god. <laughs> You're asking me for like validation that you are Kyle and you are 21 years old. Lex grew up in Glastonbury. Me and Kyle both grew up in a place called Long Eaton. It's just like a pretty quiet suburban working class town. I mean, it's not just a field, it's actually a town. Um, just basically <laughs> full of like, the weird and wonderful people. A um, lot of dropouts in society, all people that just don't give a fuck. It creates a certain type of resilience in a human being if you've grown up from a place where it's just like, there's not really lots of opportunities for you to go anywhere, you know? Well, me and Nottingham are really good for some things. Like, we spoke about the sense of community there, because it's such a small town. Everybody knows everybody. It's easy to kind of, you know, to get a sense of social validation. Glastonbury is... It's definitely played a huge part of my life. It's a very accepting town, and I feel like all the people from there are very accepting. The world would be a better place if everyone yeah. believed in alien, aliens. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So like, you all believe just a bit like, in the weird and wonderful sometimes. I just think that areas like the Midlands and, and Glastonbury and other places like that, they, they are just like slightly forgotten towns. In order to pursue the kind of careers that we wanted to pursue but also in order to pursue the kind of people that we wanted to become like i just i don't think it would have been like accessible to any of us if we'd have stayed where we grew up but for me it's just i need to get the fuck out of where i live i don't want to be like the weird guy who hangs around the skate park who's like 34 <laughs> you know no yeah. no i don't yeah. want to be that guy because those guys suck i realized that it'd be more beneficial to me if I kind of use London as a stepping stone and go get a degree, get skilled at something that I want, that I'm interested in and just kind of learn a bit about myself. Moving from somewhere which is pretty bland and pretty, I hate to say bland, but just something that like, it's the average English Englishman's experience. I just thought pick the one that's most different, like what's the opposite from the experience I live right now. Yeah. And that was London. Yeah. The opportunity you had in fashion in London beat like any any other UK place mm -hmm. and it's like not no I can compete. Mm -hmm. Ambivalent. That's the word I'm I'm on, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do get a bit frustrated with the fact that it is kind of like a rat race, you know? I'm not really super for London, I'm not really super against it. It's just so much different to like what I expect it to it is a little bit more difficult here to kind of like feel like you're getting somewhere or feel like validation in some way socially. I just really fuck with London. Like, yeah, it's a fucking tough city. It puts you through like shit. Like, have I had some like real bad times here? Yeah. Have I got stressed out to fuck here? Yeah. Would I do it all over again? Yeah. Yeah, because... there's a purpose for it. They do like to think that there's help there. But realistically, it's extremely limited. Funding's practically non-existent, and the prices are just absolutely insane. You know, like if you take into account the loan that you get and whatever, you know, you're expected almost to work two, three days a week. Everything's so much money, and then you don't have any time to really get ahead. You always just feel slightly behind. They could definitely do a lot more. The dean of students, what do we get? A fucking what? An email from him like once a year, and he's on some fat ass paycheck. It just, it just, it just feels like half ass. It just feels like they've given it us, but with that, and like push us away the stick. We're like, there you go, you know, have that, and now you can't really complain because, like, we've done that for you, you know? Yeah, make the most of it. Experience as much as you can in your time. Fuck bitches, get money.